campers? Oh, no, 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 don't be alarmed. Yes, it is me, Charles C. Chaos, but there's nothing to fear because Captain KB has hypnotized me and now my only mission is to teach campers about our universe and the wonders of the universe. And to do that, I have my lovely assistant, Ollie, here. Hey, Ollie, how are you doing? Your hair looks funny. My hair looks funny. Hmm. Hmm. What an astute observation, Ollie. Thank you for that comment. We're so glad to be here. Uh, any other uh, observations, Ollie? Your voice sounds funny. My voice sounds funny. Okay. All right. Well, moving along. Uh, Ollie, what are we here to talk about? The moon. The moon, you say? The moon? The Earth's moon? Well, let's talk about it. All right. The moon. The moon. Almost like a cow. That's how a cow would say it. The moon. And let's draw the moon real quick. There we go, and now we're ready to talk about the moon. How about that, Ollie? Your moon looks like a loaf of bread. Okay, well, it's not really about my artistic abilities as much as it about uh, giving our campers um, information about the moon. Okay. All right, well, let's start with some facts, shall we? Did you know, campers, that the moon is the Earth's only natural satellite? Do you know what a satellite is? Well, a satellite is something that goes around something in orbit. So, in a sense, the Earth is a satellite of the sun, if you will. Well, the moon travels around the Earth, okay? And it takes 27.3 days for the Earth's only natural satellite to travel completely around the Earth. Isn't that very interesting that, that the Earth only has one natural satellite and that's the moon? Your hair doesn't look natural. Okay, um, so yeah, so satellites, right? So like they orbit around things and the moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. So satellites, it's not just a Dave Matthews Band song. There's many different satellites in our universe. In fact, many other planets have their own moons. Uh, places like Jupiter or Mars, perhaps. I'm not too familiar. I don't know for 100% sure. I haven't looked into it too much, but there are other moons. Well, the Earth only has one moon. So let's talk about uh, some of the usefulness of the moon. Like, what does the moon do for us? Um, it's pretty? Yes, the moon is pretty, Ollie. Good job, Ollie. Thank you for providing something that was uh, true. The moon is very pretty, but there's lots more to the moon than just its beauty at night. Uh, in fact, the moon, it, I'll have you know, has a direct effect on the ocean's tides. So when you're out and you go to the beach and you're walking along and you're singing the song that you sing at the beach, at least I always sing a song at the beach and it goes like this. I'm at the beach and I'm singing a song. I'm singing a song and I'm at the beach. What do you think about that, Ollie? You have a terrible voice. Okay, well, I, I, I've been working on my vocal skills for quite a while now and although they may not be up to Queen Bee standards, they are um, decent, but that's neither here nor there. What we're talking about is the moon, and the moon actually helps control the tides. So when the tide, high tide comes in, and when the low tide recedes, it all has to do with the moon. <laughs>